Yo, what's up, Freeze Army? Welcome to the Dexter Discordance Escalation. It's the Sun Assassin walkthrough for all three levels. My name is Mr. Freeze2244. And for level one, you don't need to bring any uh, different equipment. You can just stick to the stuff that you got as default. Uh, the only thing you're going to need is a suppressed pistol. Anyone will do. And uh, that's all you're going to need. So from, from the start here, we're just going to let the opening panning shot play out. And the reason for that is I'm just trying to show you a way to save time. If you are going for the leaderboards or you want to try and get a better score, on the leaderboards uh, you want to save as much time as you possibly can so if you let that play out um, by the time you get to the bottom of the stairs Dexter will start walking into his room now if you skip the open and panning shot then you were uh, you would have to wait an extra few seconds anyway and you would have lost time so the best way to do is just uh, let that play out and then just, when you approach down here Dexter is going to go back into his room and we're just going to stalk him into the room make sure you walk nice and slowly because he is an enforcer and then we need to retrieve this striker, which is on the opposite side of the room. Pull out your regular pistol with a suppressor on it. And uh, shoot Dexter in the head. And all we've got to do from here is head straight to the exit. And that will, that will take care of level 1. It's nice and easy. Nice and simple. And in fact, the whole the entire escalation until the third level comes a little bit tricky. But apart from that, the whole entire escalation is quite uh, easy overall. In comparison to the other escalations that are out there. We're just going to take the cable car exit here, and you'll get the silent assassin rating for level one. So you can go ahead and move on to level two. Now I forgot to take a screenshot of level two uh, equipment loadout, but it's exactly the same as level three, so that's why I'm showing you level three on the screen there. But it's going to be exactly the same. So we're going to bring the low Napoleon blown apart which is an dist audio distractional device. If you don't have that, you can bring any other audio distractional device you have. It would all work the same way. So uh, once you uh, start the mission, again, we're just going to make sure that panning shot plays out there. And then we need to approach Dexter and kill him the same way as we did in the previous level. However, this time in this escalation, um, this escalation level, I should say, once you go back into your room, you need to distract three people into your room and they will become trespassers inside your room. And they will become targets. And uh, once they can become targets, that's when you have to take them out. Uh, because that's a part of the objectives, which is a bit... I don't understand it. I didn't really understand it until level 3. And you'll you'll get that once you get to this point. But once you grab the, grab the striker right there, I'm going to pull out the ICA Silver Baller. Take out Dexter right there. And we can get on with the third objective, with all I was, which I was trying to tell you about. So we're going to go back into our room here. There's going to be several people walking past... This is the, probably the best spot to drop your audio distraction device. So we're just going to wait for someone to come in the room. After hearing it, make sure you pick it up straight after as well. And once they come in the room, they immediately become a target. So you want to just shoot them in the head and then drag their body in the room to the left, which is going to be the bathroom. So you just want to repeat that uh, two more times and uh, you should be able to take care of this. Quite simple. The best device to use is the Napoleon Blown Apart because it makes the noise straight away rather than you having to activate it. That's why I chose the Napoleon Blown Apart. If you don't know how to get that item, um, what you have to do is complete, get some Mastery Level 10 in Professional Mode on Paris and you would unlock that item. So that's two of them taken care of now. Again, we're just rinsing and repeating, doing the same thing again and again. The third and final person will just approach the room. It could be anyone. They've set this escalation up so a lot of people walk past the room. Purely for that objective. You don't have to hide the third person's body. Because, uh, you know, you're leaving the room anyway. And we're exiting the level. So once you've taken care of that, we're going to exit the mission now. And you'll get your silent assassin rating for level 2. So for level 3, again, we're going to use the same equipment as level 2. I've already shown you the screenshot, but I thought I'd show you again. Again, it's using the same uh, items, Napoleon Blown Apart. Uh, for this one, you have to take out Dexter with the Striker Pistol this time. Obviously, it's a loud pistol, so it can be a little bit more tricky. And we have to take out a minimum of 3 Trespassers, and 2 of them, two of those targets, have to be with 1 bullet. So, um, yeah. yeah. Initially, I thought it would be quite tricky. The fact that it's because it's a loud pistol, it's going to cause panic. But I did find a qu uh, quite a clever way of getting Dexter into our room rather than taking him out in his own room. So what we're actually going to do, again, is just going to stalk uh, Dexter into his room. We're just going to grab the, uh, the striker from the wall. And then we're going to actually exit the room and then go into our own room. 
we're going to cause a distraction from our own room uh, to get him, get Dexter to come over and investigate the noise so we can deal with him at the same time as all the others. So once we enter the room here, we're going to pull out our Napoleon Blown Apart. Make sure the door is open at this point, so we're just going to drop it and then open the door and then uh, quickly pick that back up again. That's going to cause one distraction. Then we're going to pick it up, go back outside, drop it, and then pick it up again. That's going to cause uh, Dexter to get distracted and come over. Now the person who got distracted initially, he's going to come in the room and he's going to turn around. And once he does, we're just going to subdue him. If you're having problems with the punch glitch here, which can be a little bit glitchy at this point, you can uh, bring along something in the level like um, a baton or something like that. You can use that to throw at the object at their head if you choose to. So we just knock that guy out and hit him in the room. We're just setting him up for a little bit later on. And we're actually going to hide into the bathroom because Dexter is uh, an enforcer to this disguise. So we're going to subdue him as well. Again, drag him into the bathroom. We're just going to we're literally going to just pile these bodies up now on top of each other. So we just need one more. So again, we're just going to do, do the same thing as we did in the previous level. Drop it in the corner, uh, pick it back up, wait for someone to come in the room subdue them and we're going to drag this woman into the bathroom again pile on top of the other two bodies and we're going to try try and take all three out with one bullet you only need to uh, take out two with one bullet but i try to try to be a be, be clever and try to do all three in one go but dexter didn't die unfortunately but we did get two in one bullet there so for some reason that bu that bullet just went straight through his body it didn't kill him that, that was so weird but finally, you actually get the final shot in. And it doesn't cause as much panic as I thought it would be, to be honest. And I think that is probably intentional, but purely because of the fact that, uh, you know, they've got to get Silent Assassin somehow, and there's no way the way to hide the body, so... That will get you the Silent Assassin rating quite reliably, so there you go, and then you'll get your Striker Pistol at the end there as your reward. So again, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this has helped you out. Drop a like on the video if you helped you out, and subscribe here, subscribe here if you are new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.